Welcome to this brief demonstration of how to get started with Tracealyzer on Linux systems. We start with a clean Linux system where Entity NG is already available but not yet active. Note that we are logged in as root since the first step is to start the LTT NG session daemon and this needs to run as root. Note that we use the option D as in daemonize to make it run in the background. Next, we log in to the user account that will be used for the tracing and verify that it's a member of the tracing group. Then we switch over to Tracealyzer and open the Linux target library. Select new and enter the address or hostname of the target system. If authenticating with a password, you can enter it here, but otherwise Tracealyzer will ask you when connecting. Then select connect and enter the password if needed. Okay, now we are connected. Select start new session to begin the tracing. Uh, it then asks how to transfer the trace. We use store on target. Now the system is being traced and we start our application. Stop and then open. Now it has been uploaded from the target system and is loading in Tracealyzer. All LTTNG events are provided in the raw data event channels. We can modify the filter to select which ones to display. Let's include all events to begin with. Now we need to zoom in a lot to see the events in the trace view. Note that the purple sections, overlays, are used to indicate syscalls. As you can see, they are responsible for most of the execution time in this case. To get more overview, we can adjust the filter to exclude irrelevant events. Now we can zoom out and see a longer time period with the relevant events displayed. This was just a very basic introduction, but more is coming and you can also find a lot of information on our website about Tracealyzer in general. If you have any questions or feedback for us, feel free to contact us at linuxdev at Thank you.